What's going on, everybody? Earl Christian III, Urban Wall Street, on location at the Determined to Educate Awards, the fifth annual Determined to Educate Awards. It's a beautiful ceremony recognizing people who do major accomplishments in communication, service, business, of course. We were honored at Urban Wall Street in 2009 as a Communicators of the Year, and it seems only appropriate that I'm now standing with the, uh, how should I say, the recipients television husband, Miss Lori Stokes. She's the communicator of the year uh, for 2013. And here I'm with Mr. Ken Rosado. How are you, sir? I'm great. Lori, unfortunately, has bronchitis. She's home sick. She's been off all week with bronchitis, and she would not miss this otherwise. So she asked if I would step in, and she's done this for, for me in the past when I was out sick at other events. So that's why I'm here tonight. We wanted to make sure we represent it. She's been texting me all night saying, make sure you thank them for this, make sure you thank them for that. So she is up in bed mm -hmm. uh, making sure that uh, I say the right things. So uh, tonight I thank the organization on her behalf, and uh, she is very, very grateful for this, uh, for the award of Communicator of the Year. Now, had she been here, I'd probably ask her the same question. Communication is is so critical and so poignant in in this today's era. So much news information, and so much is happening. I mean, with you know the social media, we get news in an instant. But of course, nothing can replace newscasters. Right. Um, but being a part of this, because determined to educate, you could have you came out on her behalf, which is a beautiful thing, but it also has to be something about the organization and what it represents that made you want to also be a part of it as well. And, and I want you to share what, how, why was it important for you to be a part of it? Well, I'm glad you pointed out social media because we're evolving as well. Channel 7 Eyewitness News is no longer just a broadcast medium now. We're also on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We do all of it. And when we're sitting on the set, we have our, our phones. I have my Android and Lori has her, her iPhone. And the two of us side by side are tweeting, Facebook, Booking. So the second we finish a story on broadcast, we're immediately tweeting, Instagramming, and when we're home, you know, and we're getting information from the station, we're doing the same thing. So it's now, it's not just the big screen, it's the little screen too. And it's all part and integrated together. So it's no longer just broadcast, it's also, you know, the uh, social media. It's all integrated together. Now, Ken, of course we know education is ultra important mm -hmm. you know and a lot of unfortunately a lot of people or younger people don't necessarily realize the value of the education and how how it will benefit their lives long term we're so caught up in the short term and the right. fast and we don't realize that education is investing in our futures and in our lives and in the lives of our families our legacies so for those individuals who may not understand or necessarily appreciate the value of an education they know it's important but they not appreciate it what's that one thing you want to share with it's them? everything everything perfect example you know you say what does an airline pilot do 99 percent of the time an airline pilot sits there and just you know sits behind the the, the the wheel if you will and flies the plane does nothing but the one percent of the time when there's a problem with the plane the pilot takes over the controls and guides you in an emergency landing right 99 percent of the time a news anchor reads the script that they may have helped tweak a little bit but you just read the script but at the time that this event is taking place, we're just hours past the fact that President Nelson Mandela passed away, unfortunately, and God rest his soul, in South Africa. Now, if you're sitting on a news set and that happens, as our anchors were tonight, you don't have a script. You need to know everything about Nelson Mandela. You need to know his history. You need to know that he was a lawyer. You need to know that when he was a lawyer, that he couldn't look a white defendant in the face and ask his questions. He needed to go through somebody else and, and submit the questions, and a white lawyer had to then submit the question to the defendant. That was back during apartheid. See, most people wouldn't know that. And as a news anchor, if you have two hours to fill, that's what you have to be able to talk about on the set. So that that's what education provides you, all right? There's no script for that. Nobody's talking to you in your ear about that. You need to fill that time on the set live. That's why you need your education. And it's not just about reading an article in a book. You need to be voracious about it. You need to read what's on the internet. You need to read your newspapers. You need to study in school. That's why you were hired as a news anchor. And that's why you don't start in New York. I worked in Elmira. I worked on Long Island. I worked in Albany. Lori worked in um, Champaign-Urbana, Illinois. Illinois, little markets, and you work your way up over 15, 20 years before you get to a market like New York. And that's that's why you pay your dues. And I'm so glad you said that because a lot of times individuals want to get in, they want to get right to the top, and they don't realize, New York, this is not your beginning market. This, this is, is probably where you finish. Right. You know, so you're going to do a lot of work before this. So I definitely thank you for taking the time. I'm going to congratulate you on behalf of Ms. Lori Stokes and you and Lori Stokes. You're a team together. It's a beautiful thing. We're going to continue watching. I thank you for your time on the Urban Wall Street. Mr. Ken Rosado, 
class act on behalf of Ms. Lori Stokes, Communicator of the Year, 2013 Determined Educator Awards, fifth annual. It's a beautiful thing. Urban Wall Street, keep watching. Enjoy the night. Have a good night.